in the news this week. There was a cabinet reshuffle in the UK and there were reports that a number of government ministers were sweating worse than the Prime Minister on Father's Day. I also saw a report from Louisiana about a £200 alligator on the loose that had eaten someone. Um, presumably that was a £100 alligator, you know, at least before he ate the bloke. Um, also a number of venues are demanding proof of a negative test before they let you in. I've got an old friend who's taken to carrying around the letter saying he failed his 11 plus, but it's, it's not that kind of test. No wonder he failed the dang thing. But anyway, the big news story was Australia has decided to cancel a deal to buy submarines from France and will instead be doing a deal with the UK and America. The land down under is planning to put some boats down under the ocean surface. This is all part of the ever-increasing militarisation of the Pacific region as the US and Australia square off against China in what many people are calling a new Cold War, possibly inspired by the general trend to keep commissioning things based on 1970s and 80s nostalgia. I actually recently read a history book about the year 1984, and you forget how different the world was back then. Even the countries had different names, you know, like Oceania. I believe the author, Mr. G. Orwell, ended up writing policy for the European Commission. Anyway, the submarine deal. The Australians had previously promised to pay 90 billion euros to purchase diesel-electric submarines from the French, but then this last week that was torpedoed, get it, when they decided to buy nuclear submarines from the joint UK-US proposal. There is a sense of irony now that after Australia opted to literally go for the nuclear option, France metaphorically went for the nuclear option, recalling its ambassadors from Australia and the United States, and accusing the UK of destroying any remaining sense of post-Brexit camaraderie. If you ask me, I think France probably did that themselves, you know, when they decided to task their Navy with assisting economic migrants who wanted to sail from Calais to Britain illegally. They're now demanding compensation from the three countries involved. Personally, if I was in charge, I'd send them a tanker full of cheap Australian wine, processed American cheese, maybe a bill from the HMS Sheffield. I write it, maybe appoint Katie Price as an ambassador to France. You'll kill two birds with one stone and get her out of our country and into theirs. Anyway, let's lighten the mood with a submarine joke. A British, an American and a North Korean captain are bragging about their submarines and how long they can stay underwater. The British captain starts off by saying, yo, our submarines can stay underwater for six months without having to surface. The American replies, "Pooh, that's nothing. Our submarines can go for two years and never have to come to the surface. At this point, the North Korean starts laughing and says, oh boys, that's cute and all, but we launched a submarine in the mid-90s and it hasn't surfaced since. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.